We gather to tell the story of Emmanuel, God with us. We gather to remember this story, to wait and watch for him to come again, even now. Come, Lord Jesus. beginning, God created human beings to love and be loved. God chose his greatest creation for this, but they did not choose God. Again and again they turned away, but God did not give up. He kept calling. He kept loving. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Though they walked in darkness, the people of God remembered his light. They tried everything to get back to God themselves, but they could not. They cried out in their distress. God heard them. He had a plan. Because they could not get to him, he would go to them himself. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
The people of God had walked in darkness so long that they did not remember how to live in his light. So God made a plan to prepare their hearts for him again. He sent an angel to a priest named Zechariah with a message. The angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will bring many of the people of Israel back to the Lord their God. He will go before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Through John, God prepared the world for himself. John told the people to turn from their darkness. He told them what God was like so they could recognize him when he came. Prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. was ready. God would come, but not in the way his people had expected. He did not come as a mighty king or as a mysterious force. He came as a baby, born to a woman named Mary. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. Her name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. God was teaching his people about himself. He does not come with force, but with humility and tenderness. He does not come through human action or will, but by his own perfect plan and loving power. Through Mary, God taught his people how to receive him through grateful surrender. I am the Lord's servant, Mary responded. May your word to me be fulfilled.
God had done it. Jesus, Emmanuel, had come for his people once and for all. Though the world did not know that anything had changed, everything had. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger. Though the world did not yet know the good news, heaven could not contain its joy. The angels were amazed at the beauty of God's plan and depth of his love. An angel announced the good news to some shepherds and immediately all of heaven was lit up with rejoicing over what God had done. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.
God had come for his people. He showed them how to live with his life. He showed them how to die with his death. And he offered them a new life, a new way, as he rose from his own grave. He did this not just for one moment in history, but for all moments yet to come. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. God has come for us. We are the people who have walked in darkness, who have chosen our own path. We are the people who have tried to earn our way back to God and failed. We are the people whom God has never forgotten, never stopped loving, 
never stopped choosing. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me. Holy is his name. People of God, he came for us. He is coming right this moment. He will come each time we turn to him. He is born into our world every day, and with his arrival, he brings his kingdom right here, right now. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. He has brought down rulers from their thrones and has lifted up the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things, but has sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering to be merciful to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he promised.
Come, Lord Jesus. Though our world is dark, your light overcomes the darkness. Though we have wandered, your love is steadfast. Though we lose our way, you have made a way. Though our fear is great, your joy is greater. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, Christ the Lord. <laughs> 